Well, we have some sad news to share. The art world and everyone here in Chicago mourning the death of a well-known Chicago sculptor, Richard Hunt, who died at his home on Saturday. Hunt's large metal artwork can be seen in museums, public spaces all across the country. Leanne Trotter has a look back for us at his prolific career. From his 1958 masterpiece, Hero Construction, which sits in the grand staircase of the Art Institute, to his more recent 2022 Book Bird, commissioned by Barack Obama for his presidential center, Richard Hunt is said to have made the largest contribution to public art in the U.S. This is the passing of a giant. Madeline Gristain runs the MCA Chicago. We have put him into the permanent history of Chicago and the nation by putting him in our permanent collection, where his work will be enjoyed for centuries to come. Richard Hunt was born in Chicago in 1935. When he was 19 years old, his life was forever changed when he attended the open casket funeral of Emmett Till, the Chicago boy who was abducted, tortured, and lynched in Mississippi in 1955. That instilled this, you know, very deep interest in working with African-American communities, working on civil rights and supporting civil rights. Hunt taught himself how to weld metal, took art lessons at the Southside Community Art Center, and graduated from the Art Institute of Chicago. In the 1960s, he was the first black artist to sit on the National Council for the Arts. And in 1971, he became the first African-American sculptor to have a retrospective exhibition at New York's Museum of Modern Art. In 2018, Richard Hunt honored the Special Olympics with his eternal flame of hope just outside Soldier Field. And in 2021, Hunt's Light of Truth monument in honor of activist and journalist Ida B. Wells was unveiled at 37th and Langley. It's uh, 35 feet tall, one of the tallest structures, I, th I think either the tallest or second tallest monument for a woman. With a tiny signature that is almost invisible. It's small. And that's just like I said, a, a humble guy. Next year, Hunt's monument to Emmett Till will be installed at the home where he and his mother lived in the Woodlawn neighborhood. Richard Hunt is survived by a daughter and sister. He was 88 years old. Leanne Trotter, NBC5 News.